hello viewers welcome back to my channel in this video we're we'll talking about some basic properties of a parallelogram okay that you need to know now the first one is that whenever two triangles okay are formed between a parallel uh, between the parallels of a parallelogram and they are formed on the same base okay they both have the same base we conclude that the area of those triangles are equal now this is formed between look at it is formed between the two parallel lines. This triangle A, C, D, this one, and this one, they have the same base. That's one thing you need to know. The second thing you need to know is that they are formed between the two parallels of a parallelogram. Then we conclude that their areas are equal. That's number one. Okay? Now, number two that you need to know is that any triangle that is formed in between two parallel, uh, the two parallel lines of a parallelogram, okay, it is formed in between the two parallel lines of a parallelogram, then we conclude that the area of the parallelogram is two times the area of that triangle. Okay? This, that's the second one. Now, let me write out the third one. Then we'll now start solving some calculations under it. Okay? So the third one says that the parallel number three, the parallelogram, parallelogram, parallelograms, or parallelogram on the same on the same base don't forget that this one will ha have the same base they are the same base it is the same base with the parallelogram the base of the parallelogram should be the same thing as the base of the triangle okay so that is one thing you need to know so another thing we can say again that, that triangle a b d c you see it's the same base uh -huh. so we conclude that what it has that is twice of it is the, the twice the area is the area of the parallelogram so another one is that if you have parallelograms on the same base okay on the same base and and between and between the parallel okay and between the same parallel and between the same parallel are equal are, are equal in area I will explain that now let me have two lines like this two parallel lines like this okay now and then i have that um let me have two parallelogram like this one and two then i have another one like this okay let me shift a little bit so that it makes sense so let me have two, let me have a parallelogram like this, one, and then two. Then I have the second one like this, one, and then, and, and two, aha. Now, obviously, I'm seeing two parallelograms here. So let me say that this is A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? Now, if you see that, the parallelogram A, B, F, E, or A, B, E, F, and then parallelogram C, D, E, F. These two parallelograms, they both have the same base. Once they have the same base and they form in between the two parallel lines of a parallelogram, okay, in between two parallel lines, we conclude that their areas are equal. So we say that the area of, we say that the area, area of parallelogram, parallelogram A, B, E, F. They must have the same base. Take note of that. Must be equal to what? The area of parallelogram. Parallelogram C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F. Okay? So once you have, not, you have noticed this, um, these three important properties of a parallelogram, let's now solve some important calculations. The first question. Please remember that that all of them must have the same base. That is one of the biggest criteria. So the two triangles must have the same base. Then the two triangles are equal. The two parallelograms must have the same base. Therefore, the two uh, parallelograms must be equal. The triangle and the parallelogram must have the same base. Therefore, twice the, tri the area of the triangle is what? The area of the parallelogram. It's not difficult to remember. So let us now solve the first question. So the first question here says that in the diagram in the diagram below in the diagram below comma 
we have that p pure u v comma p u p u comma uh, q r t u and q r s t r parallelogram I hope you know that if you draw two parallel lines and then write gram it means parallelogram uh, parallelogram then we have that line u v is equal to 4.8 meters a cm centimeter and the perpendicular and the perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance between br and vs is 5 cm then i say calculate the area of quadrilateral b r s v okay so look at the parallelograms they gave us two parallel lines like this okay so they now say that um okay this one came this way now to draw these things are not really that easy but let me try this one came like this and then this one came this way then we have another one like this problem okay this is how it looks like then we have so they gave us that here is 5 pm okay here is our q r S T U V then P. Okay. So they gave us that here is 4.8. Okay. Okay. So which side is parallel to this? So that this side is parallel to this side and this side is parallel to this side then finally okay sorry sorry here is one line so that you differentiate it from the other one mm -hmm. okay now you are seeing that we have two parallelogram. We have this one uh -huh, and this one. Let's consider these two parallel. Okay, they say we should find uh, the area of the uh, quadrilateral P R S V. P R S and V. Okay, so we need we need one, two, and then this one three. Okay, uh -huh. so if we have this now. We we'll know that um so first of all uh, the parallel area of the parallelogram area of the parallelogram let us get area of the parallel area of the parallelogram okay is equal to base times height that is uh, five times four point eight okay which will give you which will give you five times four point eight so I'm having 24. So 24 cm squared. So this one is 24. And from the from the laws, from the theorem or the properties, if this is 24, automatically this is 24. Okay. And again, this one is 24. Uh -huh. This one is 24. Or we can even say that this one is 24. This one is 24. Then we can now get this triangle. So to get this triangle now will be half of this, half of this one. So area of the triangle is equal to what half base times height which is what one over two times the base is um 
4.5, then times the height 5. So, or half of that 24, which will give you 12 cm square. So, so the area, the area of that word, that word P R S V is equal to we have two parallelograms and a triangle formed in that quadrilateral. So we say that it is what 24 plus another 24, then plus 12. Okay, which will give you 24 times 2, then plus 12. So I have 60. So 60 cm squared is very, very simple to calculate. So we move to the next question. So those properties will help you know what you are talking about and help you know what to do. So note it now. Okay, so the next one. But sometimes without the properties, you can equally uh, at least know what to do as well. But the properties are very important. So the next one is that we have a parallelogram. Drawing is my problem, but I will keep trying. We have a parallel. We have parallel lines like this. We have a straight line here. We have this one coming like this, like this. Okay. Then we have another one coming this way, and then this way. Right. So that here is parallel to here. Why this one is parallel to this one? Okay, so they say that here is T U Z V X Y, and then this is height. Okay, so they say that um, that T U that T U is um, is thirteen point five, thirteen point five. Okay, and they say that that the area of parallelogram Area of parallelogram Z, Z, V, X, Y. Z, V, X, Y. So area of this parallelogram Z, V, X, Y is, is 67.5 cm squared. Okay. Now, if this is the area of this one, automatically the area of this one is still 67.5 cm squared. Okay. And then if this is the base, note that here should be the base again, 13.5. Uh -huh. So if you're not asked to calculate the height, to calculate the height is very simple. We know that the area, the area of the parallelogram is equal to what? Base times height. So what do we have? The, this is 67.5 is equal to the base is what? 13.5 times the height is, is H. So therefore my H will now be 67.5 divided by 13.5 so what do you have you have 5 cm obviously okay so you see the properties are very very helpful i don't want to start writing the questions but this is exactly what we are asked to to solve okay so we move to the next one and which is i think it's going to be the last question here and then this question said um